Hi everyone, welcome to the third part of .NET Core 3 tutorial series. In this part, basically we will learn how to set up the .NET Core 3 development environment on your system. We will learn what all things you require to set up .NET Core 3 environment on your system. Then we will learn how to check whether .NET Core is installed on your system or not. And at the last, we will see what editor should we use for the .NET Core application development. So let's start. And first we will learn how to install the .NET Core SDK. To set up .NET Core on your system, all you need is a .NET Core SDK. You can visit this link if you want to download the SDK. So if I click on this link, here you will see that I have a Microsoft website .NET.Microsoft.com then download and .NET Core and then the version. So the latest version is 3.0. Okay. So if I scroll down a little bit, here you will have all the information related to the .NET Core 3. Here you can see the latest version, it is version 3.0.0 and the preview mode. Here it is clearly mentioned that the current mode is preview right here. This version was released on 4 December 2018 and these are the release notes for the .NET Core 3 that it supports C 7.3, it supports F 4.5, also it supports ASP.NET Core IS module 13.0.18333.0 ok so this is the information about the .NET Core 3 preview version and in the second column here we have the SDK for the .NET Core so this is for the build apps and SDK if I hover over the I icon then you can see the software development kit short form SDK includes everything you need to build and run .NET Core applications on your system using command line tools and any editor. So basically this is what you need to set up the .NET Core on your system. Beside that you don't need anything else. This is the only thing which you have to install on your system to work with .NET Core 3. So if I scroll down a little bit more then you will see that here we have different operating system. First we have the windows. In the windows we have the installer file, we have the binaries file and we have separate SDK as per the bit of the operating system. If you have windows operating system of 64 bit then you can click here to install the .NET Core 3 SDK. If you have 32 or 86 then you can click on the 86 version. If you need to download the binaries of this SDK then you can choose this option. If you are working on the Mac OS then you can click over here for the install file. If you need the binaries for the Mac OS then you, you can choose this one. And similarly if you are working on the Linux operating system then you can download the binaries from here from this link. Okay. Third column is we have run apps. Okay. As it is clear from the name that this is used to run the application and let's see what is available in the i information. The runtime includes just the resources required to run existing .NET Core applications. Okay, So suppose you have created some .NET Core application and what all things that application require to run in that particular environment. That is basically runtime. The runtime is included in the SDK. So if you have installed SDK on your system, then automatically runtime is also installed on your system. So basically this is used for the servers. So suppose once you create an application and if you deploy it over any server, then at that server you have to give the .NET Core the runtime environment. And for that part, you can download the runtime from the third column. Now I'm using windows operating system and which is of 64 bit so to download the sdk i have to click here on this link once you click on this link it will redirect you to the download page thanks for downloading dotnet core 3 sdk and here at the bottom left part of your window you will see the exe is getting download you have to download this exe completely and then just single click on this 
exe file and it will install the dotnet core 3 sdk on your system i have already installed dotnet core 3 on my system so i will just remove this part and similarly if you are working with the mac os or linux you can simply download it from the website and just install it now suppose you have installed the dotnet core sdk the next part is to check whether dotnet core is installed on our system or not to test dotnet core on your system open any command line tool so basically you have to choose any command line tool which you have in your system you can use the command prompt or you can use the powershell or you can use terminal you can use any command line tool which is available in your system so suppose i'm working on the windows and now i'm using command prompt so this is the command prompt which i'm using in my system and you just simply have to type dot net d o t n e t press enter if you have some information about the dot net that it means dot net is installed on your system now if i need to check what version of dot net is installed on my system then dot net space version this is all you need to type in your command prompt and press enter and now you can see the latest version which is installed on your system it is 3.0.100 and clearly it is mentioned that this is the preview version right now if you are watching this video in the future then you will have the stable version which is which will be installed on your system but right now i have the preview version which was released on 4 december 2018 if you are getting any error after these commands it means dotnet core is not installed on your system if you need to check where dotnet core is installed in your system then simply you have to write where dotnet on your cli tool so suppose here i am back on my cli command prompt and now if i type here where dot net and press enter then it will tell you that dotnet core is installed inside the c drive then the program files dot net and dot net dot exe so it means dot net core is installed at this location if you have all these information working properly it means you are good to go you are ready for the development of dot net core 3 application now editors so we have installed the dot net core sdk it means our environment is ready but to write some code we need an editor so what editor should be used for dotnet core 3 development dotnet core can be run on any editor which you like most so for the dotnet core 3 there is no foundation of any editor you can use any editor which you are already using for example if you are working with the visual studio then simply you can use the visual studio if you are working with the visual studio code then you can choose visual studio code you can use sublime bracket vim etc any kind of editor which you love you can use that in my case in this entire tutorial series i will be using either visual studio or visual studio code for the later part of development now let's see how can we install visual studio or visual studio code in our system to install visual studio or visual studio code all you have to do is visit this link so the link is visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads if i click on this link it will take me to the website of visual studio here you can see that we have two types of visual studio first one is visual studio 2017 and in this also there are three categories first one is community professional enterprise and then the second one is visual studio code you can see here in the community tab it is powerful ide free for students open source contributor and individuals so you can use this community version for free of cost entire life for the professionals we have some trial period after the trial period you have to purchase the key for the professional version same for the enterprise also if you do not want to use visual studio then you can simply use visual studio code all you have to do is click on this link free download it will also download an exe for you if i click over here it will redirect me to the visual studio code download page and you can see here that the visual studio setup is getting downloaded on my system 
if you want to install it you have to just open this exe file and then simply click next next and choose all the required options which you need then at the last your visual studio code will be installed on your system let me show you how it looks like if i search code over here in the search bar then you will see so this is how your visual studio code will looks like once you will install it on your system first you will have the welcome page you can start with a new file or you can open an existing folder here you will have the list of your recent projects and basically all the things which you require for the development of dotnet core 3 is available in this editor okay that's all in this video thank you for watching have a great day